Hey, it's me, Karina, and as you know, I take product research very, very seriously. I make a lot of content about product research, how to validate products, etc. Today is going to be another unique product research method that isn't really talked about or taught. I like to kind of um, come, like, show these more frequently because I know people get bored with the typical product research methods, although they are still effective. Um, but this one is going to be awesome. You're going to find a lot of value in this video. So do subscribe and like the video because I post very, very frequent videos. And if you want kind of an updated product research uh, technique or kind of basically anything related to product research to make sure you don't make any mistakes, my private label club is the place to be because we have weekly updating content and you can get that on theplclub.com. It's seven dollars. Okay, you're gonna get so much value out of that. But anywho, let's get straight into the video. This one is going to begin a little differently. We're gonna start off in Google and we're going to type in Amazon deal sites. Now I'm going to be showing you a different way to use this approach than you might have seen. So basically click this one and it gives you 25 options of deal sites, right? So basically what these deal sites are is people doing full price giveaways, right? You might have heard some of these, but there's a lot, right? So people like to give away their products at heavily discounted rates in order to rank. Now this strategy doesn't really work anymore and this is not how I teach to do Amazon FBA because it is quite expensive to do with these launch strategies, but this could still give us a really good idea of potential products that are launching. Most of them will be flukes because a lot of people will be launching them and this is how people can get ideas. But we can actually go and dive deeper and also perhaps come across some unique products. So let's just open a few of this. Let's start with a jump scent. I'm just gonna, honestly, I haven't heard of a lot of these super random. I've heard of jump scent. But other ones are very interesting. So I'm just going to open random ones. And you can try these out. So let's go to Jump Send, right? Here are these products that everyone is giving away. Um, some are a very heavily discount. Others are actually not. And let's actually check if anyone. So see, people are still doing the full price, uh, the heavy discounted for these types of things. Um, however, a lot of sellers are trying to sell it off at a discount, such as supplements, it's a very competitive um, industry actually, so it's gonna take a lot of money, right? But some people are giving it for heavy off, some are still charging a good amount. Let's take a look at here. Water picks, people are still launching the same products, but I remember when I used to go on the site to use this method a while back, it looked a lot different because right now, this actually confirms the algorithm change because the first time you'd go on these sites, you would literally see that pretty much almost everyone is giving these away at really high discount. So it would be about 97% off for pretty much all items. Now they're pretty much full price, just because again, Amazon doesn't really like um, that algorithm, th that way of launching. So let's, all these ones that have you join, I'm just not going to do it. So there's a bunch of super, super random ones, but let's actually just start taking a look. Basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to find something that looks like a private labeler that doesn't look like a commodity and also something random. For example, even this one right here. So I'm not sure what this is. Let me just open it. I guess there's maybe someone already bought this. Um, let me keep looking. Basically, I'm looking for something I can look within Amazon. For example, this. This is a cake decorating kit. I actually know that this is a very oversaturated biscuit cookie maker cutter mold cake. Okay, so let's try biscuit cookie maker. This might be a different product. And what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go. So within Amazon, I'm actually going to put this word and see what comes up, right? I'm not going to find the exact product because this is quite a big niche. So it's actually not a product I like, but I was just showing you as an example. You want to keep on continuing to look if you can find interesting things. And I'm sure there's different ways to navigate this, probably by categories. Yeah, if you're in a specific niche and you want to expand, perhaps. But I'm just looking for this general one. Let me see. What is this? Henna tattoos. Nope, someone bought that already. Henna tattoo stencil. Let's actually put this in. Maybe it's a market. 
henna tattoo tattoo stencils let's see what comes up okay let's do the analysis over here and see what helium 10 gives us it looks like there's actually small reviews around here so it's possible that this is a good market and if you do find an item that doesn't seem to be popping up a lot then maybe that's a good opportunity some items you'll see on several deal sites and if you see the same item popping up a lot, then that's definitely not something you want to go into. But if you see something that looks quite rare and you don't see it popping up, maybe it's a good market, right? So let's look here. This is, take a note here, I just noticed something. Um, this person is doing the highest sales, but he also just lost 832 reviews, which probably most likely he was doing something suspicious with the reviews and Amazon caught him. So they removed 832 of his reviews. So that's a good indication too. Maybe people are trying to launch this. But you can see the demand is a little low. Um, sales are a little low, but people are still selling well, right? With minimal reviews, $5,000 a month with 59 reviews. And the reviews are actually quite low in this market, which is interesting. You know, um, obviously we have to study this quite more in depth, but this is something to pay attention to that this market doesn't seem oversaturated. Again, I do would, I would want to check for the main keyword. Maybe it's called something else as the search volume is only 2000. Maybe there's a different word that describes this item. I'm not exactly sure, but that's how you find the main keyword. And I teach all of this and all the details, um, in my private label club, which you can join for $7 at the PL club. My students know exactly how to to find these low risk markets and we have product research content come out every single week so that's helpful so let's keep looking i'm not looking for general things or kind of things that have too many variations such as cards or little banners um let me actually go venture into categories and let's go to health and household because curious okay supplements some powders Collapse I silicone cup. Okay. Let me see what this is just because it looks interesting. It's making me buy it. Collapse. I'm just going to type in collapsible silicone cup and see what I can get on Amazon. And this is very heavily discounted. Um, but even to start the price is still quite kind of low. So let's see if there's a market for this. Not sure why people use this, but Hey, Maybe it's for a baby set, right? Let's see the market here. There's a lot of variation. It does look like too much of a commodity because you can't differentiate too much. Essentially, it's the same exact product, but hey, maybe people are interested in this. Maybe the demand is high. Pay attention here again, the search volume. It's only 392 searches, which tells me that it's not the main keyword because if this market is... Either it's not the main keyword or there's no demand for this whatsoever, because if it was the main keyword and there were sales, that wouldn't make sense, right? This obviously needs to be bigger, but we can see the demand really isn't there because the revenue is so low. So this is not really something that we would want to go into because there's really no money to be made in this market. Unless, of course, like I said, there is a word that we don't know about. So just keep looking through these. Um, silicone straws, that's kind of a commodity sold everywhere. I actually got some metal straws the other day. Top Plaza Thumb Worry Stone. This could be a niche. <laughs> it's weird things like this that you want to look at. So Top Plaza is obviously probably the brand name. Maybe Thumb Worry Stone. I'm going to try this and see if I can potentially find anything. And again, always, always, always double check the keyword. Okay. So this is clearly something interesting. I guess it could be in kind of like Reiki healing or something, or maybe it's just kind of like a little gimmick, but I've never even known of this existence until right now. So let's take a look at the market. Again, demand seems to be a little bit low. I like to look for products that are doing at least $5,000 a month in sales. And this one just isn't cutting it for me. However, the reviews are low. I do want to encourage you to take the next step. So the first thing is just continue looking through these and looking for products. 
There's obviously 25 options. Um, you don't have to go crazy and do all of them, but just out of curiosity, do the easy ones where you don't have to sign up or maybe do sign up and then get notifications from these objects. But just scroll down, see what looks interesting. Make sure to find the main keyword, analyze the market, right? And if you find something interesting, the next step that you can do is actually go, for example, the market is fine, right? Let's go to one seller that's doing well because this can indicate that they are a private label seller so we can go to his storefront and see what's going on there. So he's doing $5,000 in a market that's not really doing that well, aside from this person. So we can go to his um, store and see what else he's selling. So he has a lot of variations. So see, this is something that you probably wouldn't want to do just because you would need a lot of money to um, get all these variations. And that's probably why he's doing well. This is actually quite, quite pretty. Um, Unless, oh, unless he has seven of them. No, it looks like he has a many, many variations. So this would be very difficult to compete with. It will take a lot of money and you don't really know if it sells well or not, right? But what we do want to do is go to his store. We'll go here, sold by, click on his storefront. And then we can go in his store and see if he's selling any other kind of private label items. This definitely looks like a very niche jewelry store. Um, I don't know anything about this, but it's possible that he is selling something that has a market that's unique. And this is what's gonna really take you to the next step is just going and kind of diving deeper this way. So let's see. Still, it looks like it's he's not doing too well, but this product is selling well, whatever this is. Let's, let's take a look. The Gua Sha, this market is oversaturated. I know that for a fact um, with the Jade Roller, but he seems to have gotten quite um, well with some of these items, even though they're making little, he's probably making some profit, but it's better to, again, just go something closer to 5,000, just so you can actually see returns and you're not just spending a lot of time launching non-profitable products, but keep doing this. Um, it really falls back to the general product research methods of just kind of rinsing and repeating, diving deeper, looking through storefronts, etc., etc. But you do want to continue practicing this. And this is just another interesting way to get some ideas just by going to all of these deal sites. I mean, honestly, I haven't heard of, uh, like, I've probably only heard of like three of these. So there's a lot, a lot um, of situations here. So try this method out. Hopefully it works out. It will work out if you keep looking and keep diving deeper. I do encourage you to continue going into the seller's storefront. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, do like this video, subscribe. If you want to be part of our family, join the PL Club at theplclub.com. And I will see you in my next video.